guys and welcome into your May 1st through the 15th general reading. This can resonate for you if you have Gemini as your sun, moon, rising as well as Venus. Well, or Venus. Or maybe all. You can have Gemini in those placements. But do check um, those placements in your chart for additional messages. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome in. And do like, share, comment, subscribe. And all of my returning subscribers, Gemini's. Even if you're a cross watcher, thank you so much. And y'all already know it's love. But let's see Ooh, what we got coming in May 1st through the 15th <clears throat> for my Geminis. Wow, Geminis. <laughs> y'all, this is my second reading for y'all, okay? I started the first video and it got interrupted like three times. So I was like, I'm just not gonna um, piece that together. I was only like five minutes in. <clears throat> but this came out. In the first reading, okay, bring love into the situation, moon in Aquarius. So some of you guys have a moon in Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart. But y'all showed up on the bottom of the deck, okay? So Gemini, this is reminding you that communication is key, okay? Communication is going to be key. Some of you guys may even be a cross watcher or have a moon in Gemini. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but there's a situation um, for you guys, it's going to be happening <clears throat> in May where communication is going to be the key, regardless of how this is. Look, some of you guys are dealing with the cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. <clears throat> some of you guys just need to communicate, okay? And, and my throat, y'all, I promise my throat was not acting up before I started y'all reading. So there is something that definitely needs to be communicated. communicated. We have hold your vision. And conclusions are within reach, okay? And bring love into the situation. So there is definitely um, something that is coming to a conclusion. And you're just being reminded to hold your vision. This is a fixed moon. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or an Aquarius. But this is just telling you that at this time, you need to be really, really fixed, okay? You need to hold your vision, all right, there's a vision that you have with something. There's something that you either want to say, something you want to do, something that you are doing, and maybe you're in a space where you've been trying it for a while. But you're being asked to hold your vision, okay? So let me see <clears throat> what y'all have coming in. The sun and justice is here. Some of you guys are dealing with uh, Libra. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. Doesn't necessarily have to be either of those signs, but you guys do have like some some justice coming into you so the scales are about to be balanced so you guys are going through um we're about to get into a period where like i said conclusions are within reach and it's going to be for your benefit okay so let's see king of swords with six of cups some of you guys are definitely dealing with the libra Aquarius, or gemini or maybe you just want to like it's something from the past or you want to go back to something or someone from your past but let's see may 1st through the 15th for my gemini Wow. Page of Pentacles. Some of you guys are in school. <clears throat> you could be thinking about going back to school. You could be trying to learn something. Queen of Wands is here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, the Hangman, Pisces, Energy, and then the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay, Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So, okay, yeah. So there's something. <clears throat> Look at this. The lovers here. Your energy. Some of you guys could be in a situation where you're torn between two people, maybe even three, okay? Some of you guys could be um, in same-sex relationships. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Just, again, take the messages only as they resonate. But there is a situation here where you need to make a decision. So you could be at a crossroads. You could be feeling like, um, you know, someone is either keeping information from you or you could be dealing with like some arguments or, you know, some petty disputes, especially with this communication is key here. I'm feeling like you're really being reminded to communicate or be mindful of how you communicate, because I feel like you guys could be going through a situation where there could be some miscommunications. You know, you could feel like someone is trying to, like I said, withhold information from you. Maybe you're the one not really wanting to communicate something to someone else. And I feel like y'all are really pondering, look at this, <clears throat> with this Queen of Wands and this Page of Pentacles, there is something that you're thinking about. So you're either thinking about learning something, you know, learning someone there, something that you have a lot of passion 
for or about especially with this look at this conclusions are within reach you see like all these colors that's like passionate energy to me fire energy to me certainly so whatever it is it's like you're passionate about it <clears throat> you could be needed to learn more information about it before making a decision especially if it's a long-term decision because y'all got the ten of pentacles here with the hangman so that's definitely indicating that something that has been blocked is about to move forward this could definitely be regarding your family this could be regarding a long-term committed relationship maybe you're thinking about going into a relationship <clears throat> I just feel like it's been some blockages, and that's why you're needing to hold your vision, okay? Communication is definitely going to be key here, and you guys are needing to bring love into whatever this situation is. So let's see. Y'all got the Nine of Swords, Gemini. Y'all are really in your head about something. Like, you're holding it back. You could not be communicating this, but you're <clears throat> certainly in your head about something. The Emperor is here. Some of you guys, this is... In regards to a committed relationship, maybe this is in regards to your business. Maybe this is in regards to an Aries. Sorry, y'all, but these braids is like really <clears throat> getting in my way. So let's see. Yeah, for some of you guys, this could be in regards to your committed relationship. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Even um, Aries, Taurus is here as well as Scorpio with this death. So I feel like there's a transformation that's been taking place, whether this is within you or within your person. And you and your person could be in a space where you guys have been through something in the past, but like things are coming into fruition. Okay, I feel like things are coming into fruition. Let's see. Page of Pentacles. Watch the Page of Pentacles here for my Geminis. Watch the Page of Pentacles here. I feel like it's just been some blockages. Yeah, look at this. Five of Wands with the Four of Cups. So there could be something that you either want to communicate or something that you want to say. And you could, you know, either feel some conflicting feelings about this. Or some of you guys could be dealing with some conflict because y'all got two fives here. Fives is all about change. You know, it could be conflict. It could be competition. I feel like y'all are having trouble communicating. Like... You guys are really trying to learn how to communicate. You guys have been through some situations where with this Four Cups, there are some past regrets, some remorse. You know, you guys could be looking at a situation and only thinking about like the worst of it and not really looking at like the good and the opportunities that you have from a situation. It could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, but temperance is here. So this is like you guys being reminded to be balanced in your emotions, your feelings, especially in the way that you guys communicate. With this Queen of Wands, this is normally someone who handles her business with a lot of passion. This is someone who takes care of the home and they also, you know, take care of their, their job with passion. This is someone who's very attractive, someone who's very creative, someone who's very spiritual. And I feel like you guys are, are thinking about making a decision, but you're trying to make a calculated decision. Go into this Queen of Wands. Some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. Definitely with this King of Wands and the strength here. Wow, look at this. Y'all got the Queen of Wands. Y'all got the strength. And then y'all got the King of Wands over here. So, <clears throat> for some of you guys, it's like you're trying to go inside and or you're going to need to find your inner strength, okay? It's something that you want to do. And it's like you're going to really need to be disciplined. You're really going to need to have this strength. To pursue what this is, especially with this whole your vision and conclusions are within reach. For others of you, I feel like you could there's something or someone that is, especially with this King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here, you guys both match like each other's intensity. You know, your energy, your passion, your vibrancy, your um charisma, your ambition. You guys both have that same ambition. Your person, whoever this person is, I feel like this person, this could be you or your person, but someone is more like reserved and not even reserved, but someone kind of holds their strength back. Like, like they know how to hold themselves back a little bit more. The King of Wands is normally more risky. Okay. This is a leader. This is someone who's a boss, someone who's in charge, but this is someone who like takes, who takes risk. And the Queen of Wands, she takes risk too, but she likes it to be more of a calculated kind of risk like she wants to know like you know the result she can kind of hold herself back a little bit more go into the um hang there wow y'all 
y'all showing up in your own reading. Y'all got these lovers here with the four of swords and then the two of swords here. So there's a situation, like I said, where um, there's a decision that needs to, make, to be made regarding something. Especially with you guys showing up in your own reading. This is really powerful. This is telling me that you guys have been holding back, okay, with the hangman here. I feel like y'all are trying to, like look at a situation from a lot of different perspectives for some of you guys you're trying to open yourself up because you could with this ten of cups and then this two of swords it could be something or someone that came into your lives and it could have been at a time where you were going through some conflict or you were already dealing with a different situation and now this is like unexpected you wasn't expecting this or you wasn't like open to seeing this for others of you i feel like you're really awakening on a spiritual level especially through your relationship or through your partnership with someone go into this ten of pentacles when it comes to your family even in regards to your long-term stability and security you guys are needing to bring love into a situation so in if there's a like if you're making look at this ten of um swords here so we got the five of swords and then we got the ten of swords so i feel like y'all are like you could be in uh some of you this is only gonna resonate for a few of you guys some of y'all are in a situation where maybe you're in like a, a separation or you're about to go into separation and you're thinking about this decision and you've made the decision and you needed to be strong okay conclusions are within reach for others of you i feel like you could have been dealing with something that's troubling you and then you're also trying to wrap up a different situation like you have something new. You can have something that you're dealing with over here. And then you have something else that you're like about to walk into. And this could be long term. This could be something that's stable. You could be dealing with the Capricorn Taurus of Virgo with these Ten of Pentacles. Real Wands is here. What else? Okay. Wow. Here go the King of Wands. Pop back up. Okay. So I feel like this is your energy. This King of Wands. I feel like you guys are, like I said, remember, I say you was at a crossroads. This Three of Wands and this King of Wands is saying you guys have made a decision. The Ace of Swords is here. So you're ready to either sever some ties or some truth is going to come out. You guys are like being enlightened to something. And it's like you are going to be taking action. Okay. This Three of Wands is you thinking about your long-term stability, your long-termness. You thinking about your future. Yep. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. The star is here. But if not, this is saying like you guys, it's something coming in that you pray for. And look at this. The Queen of Wands is back again behind this. So there's something that's coming into your lives that you have prayed for. Whether this is your person. This could definitely be your person because the King of Wands popped out. Queen of Wands here. This is like, this is somebody that or something that. Either you could have, you know, been pursuing this person because the King of Wands is a pursuer and this person is like everything that you pray for. There is some healing that is needed or that's going to come from some truth that comes out. And I feel like it's just developing you. You and your person have both been getting developed in different ways, especially on a spiritual level. You must most certainly on a spiritual level. But I feel like with this bring love into the situation, like there is going to be some things that's expressed um, between the two. Go into the three of wands. Between the two of you guys. And it's like you guys are both going to be taking action. Now, the four of wands did come out in reverse. And then the three of cups is here on the bottom of the deck. So what I'm feeling like for you guys, it's like you want to start something new. You're thinking about your long term and you, it's a situation that you're still in the middle of dealing with before you can like move on. And that's why the conclusions are within reach and hold your vision. I feel like with this hold your vision is something that you've been working on, something that you know you want to do or that you're going to do. But yeah, look at this three of cups here. <clears throat> and then the devil, this is um, Capricorn energy. For some of you guys, there is a third, could be a third party situation with this three of cups, or this could also be, you know, you reconciling or connecting with someone on a, a friendship level. The ace of wands is starting something new. That's passion. I feel like there's a situation, three of cups here that needs to be wrapped up before you can go a new, into this new cycle and before you can start something new. Yeah. Nine of pentacles here. Somebody needs to get like single. So that's what I'm I'm feeling. I'm feeling like there's a situation that you're starting, but you're wrapping up something else. And you're trying to wrap up the other situation because you know what you want to do. You know 
with this Ten of Pentacles where you want to go in the long term, but you're like, you can't make that move. You know you're going to make this move in the future, but you can't make it right now. You can't bring stability to something right now just because it's still a situation that needs to be um, dealt with. So let's see what other messages come up for my Gemini. May 1st through the 15th. Gemini, May 1st through the 15th. Ooh, wow. Okay. Anything else? Okay, that was a lot. So for one, all you need is to believe in yourself. Some of you guys are really moving slow. You see this turtle? You're trying to take things slow, okay? For some of you guys, you're... Maybe your confidence is being built back up during this cycle or someone is in a situation where they're wanting to take things slow. You guys had adventure awaits, okay? Go find it. So this is you guys, I'm feeling like, especially with this hold your vision, you know what it is you want to do. Like you guys are open for to something new. You feel like some passion and you're ready to go on this adventure. Wow, I love this. Okay, so look at this, y'all. First of all, these two cards match. Remember I said King of Wands, Queen of Wands? This is two two people that match. One says, try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. So there is someone else, either you're the, the rainbow in this person's cloud or vice versa, where you guys come together and you guys both like light each other up. And then it says, I have found the one that my soul loves. So for some of you guys, this person is, um, you have someone new coming in or you could be with this person where, you know, you feel like this is a soulmate. Your soul loves them. We have fall in love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. Okay, so I feel like this is why some of you guys are trying to take your time or someone else is trying to take their time because they don't want to rush or, you know, do the wrong thing too fast just because they're lonely. And then we have take a leap of faith into the unknown. So I feel like between the two of you guys, you and your person, you guys are both in a space in your lives where you are ready to take some leaps of faith into the unknown, um, whatever that may be, whether this is career related, whether this is romantically And I'm also feeling like if this is a third party situation, remember I said for some of you guys, it's a third party situation. Y'all see this where we got like two suites that match and then we got this one over here. So there could be a third party situation where there's somebody that's con that two people that's really connected that really match. And then there's someone else over here that's like in a way where somebody could have just started dealing with someone or could have fell into a situation just because they was lonely at the time. And now they stuck in some shit they can't get out of. I don't know. But communication is key. That's what I got for you guys, Geminis or Cross Watchers. If you found messages that resonate, drop your comments below. Hit the subscription box, bar, whatever. Do hit the bell so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, my beautiful Geminis. Bye, guys.